this pipe is actually broken inside the junction. I'm gonna see if I can get that bit out. There's add an extension to this one and try to put it back in. Uh, I don't want to be cutting that up too hard. I gotta repair this. No point digging. Use water. Get all the sand out. You have one hole and then run all the sand down there. Then you can dig it all up from there. Too hard digging with all those roots. I tried to fix that in there but it didn't work so I'm going to have to replace it. See I'm just allowing the water to dig for me. Just wash it all down into that big hole there and I'll just dig it out of there. Much easier than mucking around with all these roots. Okay, yesterday I fixed the bracket on there to stop the pipe from vibrating. I'm going to take it off so I can move that pipe back so I can fix all this up. Any roots in your way, just cut them off with some um, secateurs. Just cut the ones you need to cut. You don't have to cut any more than what you need. So I'll just be working in there. It's really just these ones here. All right, just cut them up a bit. Get them out of your way. So you can work in there, it's pretty good I've already done it. Down again. Okay, this pipe broke from there. It's the wrong angle. So I'm going to put the T junction here. This is too short. I'm going to add an extension to make it longer. I'm going to cut this off here and put a new one here. So it goes straight in, and I'm going to have to put a, a 40 to 40 mil join there. So that's the plan. I'm going to use a little grinder with a thin blade to cut it, to cut all the pipe. This is what I need. Uh, they didn't have a 40 to. A 40 for 20 mil so 25 and I've got a little insert to make it 20 and I'm going to need this to um, so I'm going to move the 40 mil pipe is going to go there somewhere and then I'm going to have to extend that 20 mil pipe and I'm lucky I've got one with with a bloated ending so I can just attach, attach it on there and extend it if your glue is a bit mucky well it's not glue it's some sort of solvent buy yourself a new one and always use primer. You can use the hacksaw to cut the blade, but I like the little grinder, it's a thin blade, really thin blade. All right, cut that bit out. I want to cut this back a little bit more so that the T junction can fit there. Um, no, I'll extend that. Use a pen to mark where you want to cut the pipe. You see this one here, I'm going to have to cut it about about there all right i'm going to extend this one so i'll cut that one right there the blade was getting a bit short so i placed it a new one just couldn't get around behind it because you don't have much gap between this frame here and the edge of the blade okay prime your pipe up um it's important this is not actually a glue it's uh it's a solvent so you're just breaking the surface to allow the solvent to dissolve the pvc so it sticks on to the next one and i've primed that one down there yeah, there was enough room to fit this on so the cut this pipe 
back a little bit more. Now I'll just measure what I want out of this and I can stick it in and I'll join that last bit on last. The last thing I need to do now is to add a slight extension of this to join it up. Okay, I've measured that up. Uh, always cut a little bit longer than you think. You can always cut it smaller. You can't make it longer after you cut it. I've put all the pieces in place. I haven't glued them yet. You've got to make sure you've got enough uh, flex to get that last join in. In this case, I'll be able to, to undo the bracket there to move the pipe back. If not, you have to dig like a trench so that you can bend the pipe up so you can get it in. You want everything to fit nice and snug. Okay, it's putting a room. I've actually shifted that pipe back a bit off the wall there. So when I push it back in, it'll fit. I can start gluing. Okay, I'm ready to slip it in. Just put all the glues on and then I'll just slide all of this back up here and I'll join up. I'm going to put some glue on, then we'll just do it. There we go, it's done. I'll put that bracket back on the wall there. Okay, don't put the sand back because you want to test it all first. Leave it for at least four hours. You might just leave it for the next day, really. 